My plush campaign on Onash.com has now been extended to June and is currently limited to 100 plushies. So if you'd like to support the channel and you need more time to get the plush, well, now you got more time. So yeah, it's on Onash.com. Link in the description if you'd like to buy it. And like I said, it really helps support the channel. It'd be really appreciated. Uh, thank you. Hey guys. Hmm? Oh, what is it? So me and Freddy were thinking, uh, we just want to eat out for the night. Sounds fine by me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, where do we get food from, though? Um, you know what? I found this uh, real nice place on the corner of 3rd Street. If y'all let us eat there, trust me, you'll love it. Uh, I'll pay. My treat. Well, that's real nice of you, Bonnie. Thanks. Eh, I'll be a little humble every once in a while. Uh, we can order it on the phone. Let me get my wallet. There's my card. Thanks. Anyways, uh... Ooh, I gotta use the bathroom. Uh, you guys look at the menu. I'll tell you what I want in a minute. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, hey. I think this fell out of Bonnie's... Wallet. Huh? What is it? Monty, look. What the... Huh? Guys, don't go snooping at Bonnie's stuff. What the hell? What's so funny about this photo? Man, this thing's being through the ringer. It looks kinda... old. Why does Bonnie have this in his wallet? Who's that next to him? I don't know. They do look real similar to him. Family member? Ex-partner? I don't know. You think we should ask him about it? Look, we shouldn't even be seeing this, I don't think. If Bonnie didn't want to tell us about this person, then clearly we don't need to know nothing about it. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the jambalaya. Oh, it was real good last time I... had it. Oh, uh, Bonnie, uh, sorry, um... I think you dropped this out of your wallet. Um, if you don't mind us asking, Bonnie, who is that? He is, uh, none of your damn business. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Bonnie. Look, we didn't really, like, mean to intrude on your privacy, it just... Seem really odd. You never really mentioned anyone like that. He's a. Uh, he's my brother. A, a brother? You had a brother? How come we've never met him? Yeah, I mean, that's the happiest I've seen you in that photo. You two looked real close. Did something happen between the two of you? Look, just give me the jambalaya with the coke. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go nap before the food gets here. Wait, uh. Are you sure? Bonnie, was it something we said? Bonnie, I'm sorry. You don't have to talk about it. Just leave me alone! Please. Hey, uh... Let's just, let's just give him some space and order food. Yeah. you every day, man. I really do. Next guests! Listen, fellas, I know you all are aware that my time is valuable. You could practically put a dollar sign next to it. I know you know this because you bothered taking the time to find me, but it's not easy to find the king. My time is valuable, and you do not want to waste it. I don't want to waste none of yours either. But you especially, and I mean especially, don't want to waste none of mine. Um, sir, it's understood. Good. Anyone fancy around the cards? Boy, uh, yeah, I'll fancy around the blackjack. <laughs> Boy, you either the funniest jokester I've ever met or you got a rock in your brain. Ow! What did I just say I didn't want you doing? Wasting my time. And look what you right doing. Trying to play a round of cards with me and waste my time. Oh, 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 shut up now, shut up. That's what I thought. You there, rabbit. You look like the most competent of your gang. I appreciate the compliments, sir. Uh, might I ask, is there uh, something I could call you besides sir and king? It's not super formal, you know. You can call me Rock. Tiger Rock. 
All right, well, Tiger Rock, look, here's the stick. A little while ago, our friend Wolf was kidnapped by a man. Rather a monster. A monster named Scorch. At all costs, we want him back. At all costs, you say? <laughs> well, I think that can be arranged. Hey, we get Wolf back, we get Wolf back. Would you shut up? You got an energetic little friend over there, I'll say that much. <laughs> Y'all are funny. So, a man named Scorch kidnapped your friend. I think I've heard that name thrown around here or two. You get a lot of dirt down here. A lot of different dirt from a lot of different fields. Sir, um, might I ask you, what would something like this cost us? Yeah, if we have to wait, you know, we're kind of broke right now. Yeah. <laughs> fellas, fellas, fellas. Look, work like this does not come cheap, you see. Unless you got a loan from the bank, you are not seeing your friend anytime soon. My credit score's too low for that, mate. However, there is one other way you four could repay the debts that you owe me. Only for this act of rescue. Soon to be five, realistically. You see, while the two agents that I have, the two agents that work with me, are my best, my most capable, my most experienced, they're also my only agents. And I think you four, the theme you run, the theme that your friend Wolf will probably run, you'd fit right in here, boys. And of course, my compliments to the missus. Welcome to the Mafia, fellas. It's a hard life, yes. But it's one that comes with great wealth, great riches, great fun, risk, reward, life and death. But most importantly, rock. Tons of rock. <laughs> Let me give my agents a call. I guarantee you they will have your friend by tomorrow night. Well, God bless Wolf's gonna be okay. Yeah, but I fear. I fear what new life we sold our souls to. <sighs> so, I assume you two got a pretty good understanding of the fellas I've run into, right? Not to mention the stakes at hand. This guy seems pretty dangerous. And while I got all the faith in the two of you, I would hate to lose my best. Trust me, Tiger Rock, we get it. Yes, Papa, we hear you loud and clear. I knew I could trust my two shining superstars. <laughs> and Bonnie, Bill, please. Huh? Huh? What is our motto? Ugh. Don't get stains on the wares. Thank you. Some folk with some glass around here. Don't take too long. I don't want your dinner getting cold. <sighs> I'm concealing this. You weren't already doing that? Yeah, yeah, I know, sis. Whatever. Always with the stealth missions. I know, you like going in loud, but you heard Tiger Rock, this is dangerous. I feel like there's always so many stealth missions, though. Listen, we just gotta get in, find the guy, and get out. No confrontation. It'd be bad if that happened. Yeah, I know. Hey, uh, thanks for the ride. Yeah. This place looks abandoned. Considering this is supposed to be a secret underground facility, that doesn't really shock me. How are we supposed to get in? It seems blocked off from all entrances. Oh, come on, Belle. Where air can travel, we can travel. If I rip this dress, Tiger Rock's gonna be pissed at me. Why can't I just have a suit like you? Wish I could give you a straight answer. Come on, stupid. There we are. After you, sis. Thanks. The guns don't exactly make crawling any easier. Oh, Belle, look! All I can see is a shadow. That means this place is occupied. You got a point there. From what I know about the schematics that Tiger Rock dug up, the wolf should be in the deepest level. There's a level with a basic prison, and then there's a level with a super guarded one. More like solitary confinement. Let me guess, that's where we're gonna find the wolf? Correct mundo. Uh, the nice thing about this place is that there's not a lot of people around here, so it won't be that hard to really sneak around them. Maybe we should just wait till the room's empty? Here. Ooh, I got an idea. I'm gonna go further down the vent and cause a little distraction. You keep watch. Once I make a noise, I'll hurry back down here. We can pop through the vent and head down the stairs. 
Smart thinking, Bon. Come on, sis. We did this exact same thing the last mission, and you came up with it. Am I not allowed to give my big brother some of the credit of the smarts of the two of us? You're too kind, Belle. You're too kind. <laughs> It's quiet tonight. Too quiet. This is bothering me. Shadow Freddy! Where is that guy? Hey, were you looking for me? Ah, that was my favorite assistant. Fine, I guess. We're getting closer to this whole plan thing being done, right? Of course, friend, in due time. <sighs> Thank God. That scrap thing was a disaster. Trust me, I'm aware. However, the wolf is providing us with all we need. With what? <sighs> we'll see. Why are you always so cryptic with this stuff? It's like this isn't even a partnership. Because it's not. You're my lackey, remember? You've always been. <sighs> Whatever. Don't blame me. You're the one that came to me on hands and knees, finding purpose in this world. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. It sounded like it was coming from that way. If we have an infestation, it could just be Lefty banging on the bars again. This really is her again? I'm going to install barbed wires on those damn things. Bon! Bon, they're gone! <gasps> Alright. After you. Alright. <sighs> okay, we're all clear. <sighs> okay. Don't your legs ever hurt from landing like that? Have a steel sister. Figured that was my job. Schematics say it should be somewhere around here. Yeah, let's keep looking. <gasps> Sis, come here. Yeah, what is it? You think that's the door? The door to solitary confinement. Now we just gotta figure out how to get it open. Hmm. Seems to be a fingerprint scanner. Or an animatronic hand scanner. Does this Scorch guy have fingerprints? Whatever it is, just figure out a way to get it open. I've got the magic touch, Bon. Access denied. Uh-huh. The magic touch. Shut your face hole, I got the door open. Wolf! Wolf? Sis, right there. There you are. Huh? Who are you? Classified for the time being, Toots. Your name's classified? Are you trying to say your name is classified? Or are you saying, confirming the fact that their name is classified because it, it is... She can't tell you her name! Oh, okay. What are you two doing here? Are you more of Scorch's lackeys? We're busting you out of here. Boss's orders. Your friends paid him generously. The Twisted Ones? I thought they'd forgotten about me. Well, apparently they didn't. And come on. I don't think we got much time before Scorch notices that this whole thing's open. I'd like to follow you, but I'm stuck up here. Eh, don't worry, pal. They got tricks for this. Uh, wait! Be careful where you aim that! Relax, he's a sharpshooter. And besides, it's got a silencer on it. Just please stay still. Thank you. Don't thank us yet until we're through the front door and outside. Just try being quiet when you step. Okay. All right, we're almost there. Ah! Don't scream like that! Ah! 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 Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! Hey, boss! I think I found the infestation. Ah! What are you two doing in here? Who are you? None of your damn business, that's who we are. Clearly you are my business. You're making off with my wolf. Not your wolf no more. Not with enough cash, it ain't. How the hell did you sneak up behind us? We're rabbits, we can hear anything! Uh, I can float. How do you can't make footstep noises if you can't touch the ground? You're pretty witty yourself, ain't ya? You? Aren't you Shadow Freddy? You're just some random kid I've never seen before! How the hell do you know my name? Word goes around, so you must be Scorch. Yes, I am Scorch. What are we standing around talking for? Shadow Freddy, obliterate them! Scorch, you're just a couple of kids. With guns! Kill them before I have to do it myself! All right. Talking gets great stalling time. We're so good at this. 
Wait, what the hell is that? Huh? Smoke grenade! Jesus Christ! Jesus! Hey! Scorch! I can't see anything! Ah! Oh, where are those brats? Oh, how are we gonna get out of here? On the ground! Grab my hand! <gasps> Hope they left us in the same spot. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Toss him up, Bon! Alright, get ready to grab. Wait, what? <gasps> Thank you. And screw this! Oh. Alright. Where do those kids go? I got ya! Scorch, that was me, you dunce. Whatever! The wolf is useless to me now anyway. I got what I needed from him. All I was going to do was just enjoy watching him die. But none of that even matters now. Great, another joy taken from me by someone I'm not even aware of. Your plan's falling apart, this seems. This affects plan B none. Now can we just figure out how to get this stupid smoke out of here? I'll go find a fan. <sighs> Yes, we nailed it! Please don't say that until we're out the front door. You got me there. Come on, let's go. You know, I didn't expect being part of the Mophie to be this cheery. Yeah, just get to sit around and do nothing. Trust me, fellas, I will have you working your butts off once we're out of here. But, you know, you'll get some off time as time progresses and you do more work for me. We're family! This is no mere interrogation room no more. This is your home. For better or for worse. Now, if I predict correctly, my two best agents should be home right now. Tiger Rock, we're home. <laughs> Kids, look, you've brought home the gold. Here he is. <laughs> Foxy, come on. All right, all right, all right, lay off. Wolf, we were so worried about you. Yeah, it's good to have you back. Thanks, guys. We can go home now. Go home? Boy, where do you think you're gonna go? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, listen, Wolf, um... The only way to get them to break you out... ...was that we gotta work for him for the foreseeable future. Oh. Huh. This is your home now, boy. My pride and sunny roof. You see those two kids over there? Yeah. They're the best of the best. The best I've had in my 47 years of working in this industry. They've seen many come and go. The people that have raised them. For better or for worse. <laughs> Any old lackey I would have sent on that mission, they would have died the moment they stepped in the door. But these two get it done. They get it done quick. They get it done clean. And they come out alive in the end. You see why that kind of work doesn't come cheap? I guess. Now you five, it's nice to finally add some new recruits to my armada. This is how most come in. Some of you may die on the various debts that you must repay for others. This type of business does not come cheap, and not without risk. However, if you could even have an ounce of the skill that these two young fine lads have in them, I think you'll make it out just fine. If I have to ask, sir... Call me Tiger Rock. If I have to ask Tiger Rock... Um... How many previous employees have worked through here? Well, since I found these two, I want to say a little more than a dozen. Before that, <laughs> thinking somewhere near a hundred. And have all of them died in the field? Some retire. Some die. It's a little too morbid to keep a exact statistic of. But like I said, you have an ounce, a micrometer, of the skill that these two young fine lads possess. You'll make it out just fine, and you will not make it a part of the dead statistic. <laughs> I think you two have earned yourselves dinner and some sleep. Please, take those things off. You look beautiful, but it's time to rest now. I'll show the rookies the living quarters themselves. Thanks, Pops. You're welcome, Bon. Ugh, I'm so ready to take this stupid thing off. I just don't understand why you hate the dress so much. It's just so clunky to do stunts and stuff in and shoot things. You know if you had to wear it. 
I mean, suits aren't that easy either. You want to wear the dress for a change? All right, all right. I just don't understand why Tiger Rock can't make me a suit. Because you're not a boy, I guess. I don't know. All right, come on. Let's go microwave dinner. Hey, remember he told the maids to start sticking it in the oven when we'd be out late like this? Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs>